Hello all of my otaku friends, my name is Prof Otaku and welcome back to my channel and that's fat ass over there. <laughs> Jax, get down from there! You're going to die! Well, I am back. I know it has been a long time since I've uploaded, I think almost two weeks now, but as a lot of you know, I have moved to a new state, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I cannot believe that I am still living in the Bible Belt after a whole decade. To go ahead and start my doctorate, and I have read one volume of manga in 14 days. I've watched no anime. It's just been absolutely nuts. This move was a hundred billion times harder than I ever possibly could have imagined. And so we're gonna go back in time and I'm gonna show you guys what I recorded from my moving vlog. By day three and four, I was so tired, I don't even think I recorded anything. So my apologies for that. But as you will be able to see, it got, this got away from me pretty fast. But <laughs> I hope you enjoy, I hope you get something out of the little tips that I put in there. And with that being said, let's get started. Hello all of my otaku friends, my name is Prof Otaku and welcome back to my channel. Today is May 4th and the start of the most dreaded time of my life since I started manga collecting which is I am moving to a new state. I am moving from Cookville, Tennessee to Hattiesburg, Mississippi and this is going to be a moving guide compilation video of basically the next eight days of my life. Me packing up this entire collection, I have to just kind of piece it out and do this slowly because it's just gonna take so long. I have to pack up the entire house too and it's just gonna take me forever. So grab a snack, grab a drink, and enjoy my pain and suffering. <laughs> All right, so step one of moving is obviously pick a box. <laughs> and I've basically been hoarding boxes since January. So actually what I'm gonna shoot for is I'm gonna try to get some of those big boxes back there. And then I'm gonna use packing paper and put it all around the inside. And then I'm just gonna put as much manga as I can in each box so that I can try to consolidate this collection into hopefully 15 boxes at the most. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna definitely try. I'll leave these smaller boxes for or any of the pots and pans and clothes and stuff that I'm gonna pack up. All right, folks, for today, May 4th, the goal is to get rid of the part of the collection that's never in my videos. So <laughs> this whole first half right here, I'm hoping to break it down today. Let's get started. All right, we're like 20 minutes into packing. I already have my first fucking problem. How the fuck are you supposed to fit? I got volume 22 over here, volume 46 over here, and two box sets that are full. How the fuck am I supposed to put them all in here? Oh, I already hate this already. All right, here's our first big box. I went ahead and put a layer of packing paper under here, and then I went ahead and taped the bottom, of course, so when it gets really full, it's not gonna, you know, fall out and everything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the big books here on the bottom and just go ahead and start stacking them and let's see where it takes us. All right, remember when I said I was gonna put everything in a bunch of big boxes? Yeah, that's a lie. It's too heavy, I almost died. So here's tip number two. Don't do tip number one. <laughs> I'm getting smaller boxes, here we go. All right, what do you think? We can do smaller boxes. Hey folks, it is the end of day one and I got absolutely fuck all done. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm so screwed. All right, hopefully day two is tomorrow. Hopefully I can break some more of this down, but we'll see. I'd like to go ahead and finish what I was supposed to do today. So that's the goal for tomorrow. Thank you. 
Hey y'all, Prof here. It is May 5th, day two. I am actually changing my game plan a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my rare volumes of the volumes I care about the most and put them into this protective or my most protective boxes. Uh, you know, in general, like I gotta prioritize like what I put in these really big boxes that are gonna be, you know, loosey goosey and then the stuff that I really wanna make sure that I protect. So I'm gonna save these right stuff boxes for that. Hey y'all, so I'm officially out of right stuff boxes. So now I'm moving to some irregular shaped boxes. And what I have to do is I kind of have to plan out where I'm, what I'm placing in there, like size wise, trying to just get it as tight as possible. So these are signature edition volumes. And since they're not really tightly packed in there, what I did was I put them in bundles like this. And so they're in bundles of six all the way down to the bottom. And then I just wrap them individually to give them some protection. And then as long as I put some stuff on the side, as you see here with the bubble wrap, you get a really nice secure package. So this is a great way to maximize your space with irregular boxes, kind of plan out what you're gonna do first. So this is what I'm gonna be doing from now on. Here's another quick example of some pre-planning you do with some irregular boxes. I tried the Berserk hardcovers first and they just didn't work. And so, you know, you just keep trying until you find the perfect fit and then you can go ahead and start prepping the box and get stacking. So this will fit probably around, let's see, eight and I'm thinking like seven stacks maybe. So probably close to 50, 56 volumes, which is fantastic for this box. So awesome. Hey y'all, Prof here. It is the end of day two. You know, this is challenging, not only because I have to move the house, but I'm also wrapping up my university stuff. So I've been at the university every day the last three days for about six, seven hours uh, cleaning out my office too. And so having to move my office at work and then also here at the house has just been a nightmare. But I got a ton done in day two that I wasn't expecting to, to be honest with you, because day one, I didn't even pack one box. So let me show you guys what I did here. So this, so this is all of the completed stuff. I packed four box sets up and well, I think I did those yesterday, um, but these all are brand new. I packed 19 boxes today. I don't even know how much manga I did. I'd, I'd say it has to be over 700 volumes at least. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what's left of the collection. So we still have the stuff from day one, just I haven't put those away. But as you can see, I cleared the shelves with the exception of a couple of volumes down there, of Ikigami and some Hunter Hunter Moriarty, the Patriot volumes. So I'm real close to finishing that up. But I also was able to break down a ton of stuff over here. I was able to break down this shelf. We got some stuff down there as well. I'm gonna try, gotta get all that done tomorrow. I cleared the hanging wall shelf, which was awesome. I got some volumes down here in the back. I was able to pack up Vagabond as you see. And I got the light novels here. And then obviously I haven't even touched the rom-com section. And I was able to get rid of some slice of life stuff. Specifically, I wanted to get Barakamon protected because it's out of print. So just get it into a nice box. So yeah, overall, a lot of great work. I think I've got about maybe 300, 400 volumes left. I should be able to finish this tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited. Hey y'all, Prof here, end of day three, and all of the manga is packed, all 1,200 volumes. I got a couple of miscellaneous boxes that I need to pack 
like some of the posters and some the anime I still need to pack, but that's probably just going to be two more boxes. But we are looking at about 50 boxes of manga. <laughs> so some of them are really heavy and some of them are quite full. But here are the empty shelves. <laughs> this is definitely super, super weird. That right over there is kind of my TBR so that uh, I have something to read over the next couple days. So yeah, just a couple of art books, stuff like that that I need to pack up. So yeah, this is progressing very, very well. Hey y'all, post edit prof here. It is May 15th and I did not obviously record this part of the process because I was too exhausted. <laughs> I just had so much going on. But let me just talk you through what I did. I put all of the manga boxes up in grandma's attic and so that's the little space up top. And then I also put some tie down straight across to keep the boxes from falling down. And it turned out really well with the exception of a couple boxes falling down. They all stayed in place up there in grandma's attic. So it worked out very, very well. I highly recommend you use that for any fragile stuff with some tie downs. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little moving vlog video. Obviously, I'm not even close to putting the collection back together. I'm actually doing the whole house first before I do the manga. That's gonna be a separate video that I will release at the end of the week, so please bear with me. I know my upload schedule has been terrible this month, but this has just been a long process for me. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like the video, please hit that like button, tap that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So you know when more of my videos come out. That being said, I'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.